Hi, it's Sebastian. I'm just starting another hike. I hope you join me. I'll be hiking East Highland Way, which starts from end of West Highland Way and follows path to Aviemore. I'm two and a half kilometers in, but it was pure uh, road walking through the uh, Fort William, so nothing to show. I hope for much more interesting stuff ahead of us. Fort William, somewhere there, with Ben Nevis in the background, and here it's starting to look as a trail. East Highland Way is not a mountain trail. It's fairly flat and easy, about 140 kilometers. So, if you're quick, you can do it in three days. I'm not, and I'm planning six days, hoping for five. It's a good trail if you're preparing for something bigger or that injury and trying to get back on the trail, so it's a good one. And I hope that majority of the walk will be um, in the nature, like here. Weather-wise, it was raining heavily, but from now on the weather should improve with every hour reaching mid-twenties later in this week what's well, extreme temperatures for Scotland Do they know? Just passing the car park where you start if you approach Ben Nevis from the north side. Remember when I was here in the past it was extremely busy, but now plenty of spaces. I'm following this truck here, and it goes along the along the busy road so I can hear cars passing by. So from one side I've got I've got road, from another side I've got power line. And at last some proper trail, I'm off the beaten track and enjoying grass. So this grassy path ended quickly. I reached farmland and now following this uh, Dharma Lane. Not much fun in that. Soon I will reach end of stage one, but I think I will uh, I will walk for another 
hour to find a camping spot somewhere else. And we're leaving the road following this forest track which should take us to the first village on the way and end of stage one. The village is far, far away here. was interesting for me and unexpected for me is that on this trail there are no markers at least I couldn't find any on first 20 kilometers I wonder if there will be any further along the way we'll see Swimming pool. Alright, so we're going up. Well, I noticed that this little path goes along this um, forest track, so I used this opportunity because I think it's much more pleasant. So I'm on the road again and it started to rain. Just fantastic. It's 6 pm. I thought that I'll walk for another hour and then look for the place to pitch the tent oh if I'll find anything quicker I'll just do it and this is the hill I won't be climbing so I think that humidity went up but I'll show you my rain gear on top nothing special but bottom my waterproof kilt <laughs> of course I'm in Scotland So this is kind of the path I'm walking now, it stopped raining, almost, and it's 7pm so I would love to find something to pitch the tent, but from one side I've got hill with ships and from the other side I've got bank of the river but unfortunately it's fenced so I still have two hours almost three hours to sunset I'll just walk and try to find something although yeah although I can feel the the, all the road work I have done today so I would love to stop soon it's 
it's almost eight. As you can see, I'm in my tent, uh, waiting for my meal to get ready. And I've done today 25 kilometers. That's not too bad. I plant 19. Um, so 25 is pretty good considering that I started at um, 2 p.m. So not too bad. We had a little bit of shower. You can see the I'm camping by the river. Very nice place with one big minus mages. I sincerely hate them. Already have uh, about a billion bubbles on my legs and forehead. Oh, I can see them flying here around. I hope there's no any hole in the net. Anyway, it was a good day and it seems that uh, East Highland Way is fairly easy trail. So I'll try to make a little more tomorrow. Who knows, maybe I'll be able to finish earlier. If your freeze-dried meal doesn't have enough calories, there is an easy hack. Oat cakes. It will increase the amount of calories and it will make the meal more satisfying, although maybe a little bit less tasty. Have a good night.